Um, so we have done a lot of readings together. Um, it's been so much fun. We love being on your podcast and doing readings for your community as well. How have you incorporated the things that you've gotten out of those readings into your lives? How has animal communication affected you personally in the way that you live your daily life with your beautiful beings? And look at her scratching her little ear. This is Madison Grace. My love, love Madison Grace. Um, there's there's definitely much more of an awareness, right? Like just that that the communication that we think we have with our cats has been completely elevated, right? Like it is, it's definitely brought new layers of compassion, I think, first and foremost to our relationship. We've always been very, you know, when it comes to, you know, because you have cat behaviorists and take an example of, you know, a cat peeing somewhere where they're not supposed to pee. Everyone's like, oh, my cat's a little shit or my cat is revenge peeing or they attach all these human emotions to this beautiful being that really does nothing out of uh, spite, only anything out of like instinct and being, you know, just being present. So it has added this huge level of compassion or, or, or bigger understanding to be able to better understand and not necessarily understand at first, but accept certain things yeah. about just accepting our cats where they're at, what their personality is like, um, it, you know, as far as implementing it in our daily lives, that's the first thing that comes to mind is just this new level of awareness and their individuality. I think that's something else that this whole communication thing gifts us with is as cat parents, we know that our cats have different personalities, but when they're given a bit more of a voice, it makes it um, so much bigger in a way. 